and welcome back to my car. <laughs> we are going on a shopping adventure today, guys. I think my prom was back in 2010. I'm dating myself. I love anything that sparkles, so I'm gonna try to find the most sparkly, most extra dresses that I can and try them on for you guys. And at the end, I will see if I can find my dream prom dress. Obviously, I'm not going to prom again. I'm too old for that, unfortunately. If anyone needs a date though to their prom, let me know. <laughs> Ideally, it will be black and very, very sparkly. You guys ready? Let's do it. And this is my outfit, just a plain black long sleeve t-shirt with my awesome punk rave PVC pants and of course my combat boots. I honestly forget how much people stare at me when I come out in public because I haven't come out in public in a long time. So I'm excited to see what we're gonna find and what people I'm gonna scare today. There were so many cool stores in this mall with beautiful sparkly dresses so I got to take a look at them as I was walking by. Oh my gosh, look at the gold one. Oh, so gorgeous. This one was also really, really stunning, like a rainbow crystal. Then I found this beautiful white poncho in the first store I went to, which was really, really pretty. And of course, more sparkly dresses. I could not wait to try them on for you guys. Now this particular store that I went to is called Steps and look at all the gorgeous fabrics that I found there. Oh, so stunning. All right, so this first dress I tried on, I was in love with the fabric, but the fit of it wasn't quite what I was looking for. It looked a lot better on the hanger than it did on me, but the fabric, you guys, oh my gosh, it was like silver, holographic, rainbow. Just, oh, I loved it so much. I didn't want to take it off. I wish I could have tops and pants and skirts and everything made out of just this fabric because it is so, so gorgeous. Just look at that. Oh, so beautiful. I can't get over it. I don't know why I was making that face, but this was another dress I tried on. It was absolutely gorgeous in terms of the fabric. Again, the fit wasn't my favorite, and I think I was inspired by the music that was playing in the store because I just broke out into a dance. <laughs> But I really loved the straps, how they crisscross in the back. I love the fit in the back as well. The front was interesting though. I wasn't sure how I felt about the straps across the front and the bodice and the weird opening at the bottom, but the fabric itself, as you can see, it was this gorgeous, gorgeous red sparkly material. Stunning. I loved it. Okay, I know I said this video was gonna be about dresses, but I found this outfit and I just had to show you guys because it's amazing. Look at how amazing this outfit is. Oh my gosh, I felt like one of those fancy IG baddies that you see on Instagram. This felt like very Fashion Nova, very trendy. I've never worn or owned a two-piece outfit like this and I was in love. I loved how it really snatched my waist. It accentuated the booty. <laughs> And it was actually really comfortable to walk around in because it was full on sequins, as you guys can see in this close up. Stunning. Oh, I was like a walking rainbow. I just loved it so much. And then the low lighting here, you guys can see it looked even better. It was magical, especially in the sunlight. Even just hanging there on the rack, I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of really want this in my life, but I wasn't sure if I wanted it, so I put it back. But it was so beautiful. Just look at it. Look at the rainbows. Oh. I loved it. <laughs> so this next dress is completely different from my normal style. This is very Daenerys goes to prom, but is super sparkly. And I was surprised. I really, really loved this dress. It was a rose gold with this beautiful gold overlay with these beautiful sequins. And it was so sparkly, guys. When I swirled and turned around in the room, the walls kind of lit up with the sunlight reflecting off of the sequins. And I really, really like this a lot. One thing that I loved about this dress, which kind of surprised me, was how deep the V was, because I normally don't wear super low cut things because I have no chest to show off, but I was just in love with how it made my bone structure look. And of course I had to turn around so you guys could see how glittery and beautiful it was in the direct sunlight. And I love the design of the sequins and the overlay as well. And I love that with the particular lighting in this dressing room, it really highlighted my ribs and I don't know what else you would call it, the space between my boobs. <laughs> okay, this dress was my absolute favorite. Look at this. This is just absolute gorgeous 20s. Gatsby realness. It is a completely black with this beautiful rose gold sequin overlay and I love the designs. I went and saw The Great Gatsby in theaters a couple of times because I just loved it so much and I love the designs, the fashion, and this made me instantly think of the branding and the logo for The Great Gatsby. And I just loved the fit. I loved how sparkly it was. Look at that butt. <laughs> 
This was definitely one dress that I did not want to take off. I just loved everything about it. I loved how it fit. I loved the length. I loved the designs of everything, the sequins. I'm normally not one to reach for rose gold, but this against the black was just so perfect and so stunning. And I love how the beading went all the way down to the floor, as you can see. I think this is the dress that I kept on for the longest in the dressing room, trying it on, just taking pictures, looking at myself in different angles. I was definitely feeling myself, as you can see in some of these shots. I just was obsessed with everything about this dress. And it was easy to dance in, which is very important for a prom dress. Yes, I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> Now this one is what I thought I would have wanted in a prom dress. It's black, curve-hugging, sparkly, shows some leg. But for some reason, this one just didn't tickle my fancy. It was fine and all, but it wasn't amazing. You know what I mean? Like the last dress was amazing. This was not amazing. <laughs> and sorry, not sorry for the gratuitous shots of my sparkly bum. But this dress, I will say, is probably the sparkliest of out of all of them that I tried on. I think it was just something about the way it fit around my top and middle that wasn't my favorite. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below what you think of each dress and which one was your favorite. Now, I just loved how sparkly this dress was. As you can see here in the shots with natural lighting, it looks like I added the Kira Kira app on top of the footage, but I didn't. This is just pure sunlight and the dress itself, how it looked in real life, which was amazing. And I actually really liked the bottom of the dress. It twirled in a very satisfying way around my feet, as you can see. <laughs> All right, I know this isn't a dress, but look how sparkly this cardigan is. It's almost exactly like the black dress I was just trying on, but in a cardigan form, I would wear this all day, every day. As you guys know, I love anything black and anything sparkly, so this was two of my favorite things combined, and I was definitely in love with this sparkly booty coming out once again. Now these next two dresses are not sparkly, but I thought this would also make a really cool prom dress and I just love the fit of it as well. And the top I think would look a lot better if it was a little more snug on me and I just love these satin panels in the bottom. I thought it was really unique and I've never actually seen something like this on a dress before. It was giving me very Queen of Hearts vibes from Alice in Wonderland and I was just kind of obsessed with the corset top and then these beautiful satin panels on the bottom. And this dress was very, very sexy. A beautiful black velvet number, a little shorter than your usual prom dress, but I've seen some girls rocking some short dresses to their proms and it looks awesome. I love the crisscross in the back here and the very deep V in the front. I felt like a foxy lady in this. Then after I finished its steps, I made a quick stop into Forever 21, which surprisingly had no sparkly dresses, but I did find this really sexy leopard cheetah print dress. The gold belt was removable, so I decided to just try it on without it, and I think I actually liked it a little bit better. Love that plunging neckline though. Then I made a stop at my favorite store in the mall, which is called Real Fruit Bubble Tea, where I got a strawberry banana smoothie with tapioca. Oh, it's my favorite thing, it's so good. I'm so happy right now. Now, a couple of days earlier, I'd also gone to another store in a different mall called Windsor. This is more of an evening gown type dress store, but they also had a lot of beautiful sparkly things. And I was just in love with a lot of the dresses that I found out there, so I wanted to show you guys that as well. Look at all these earrings though, oh my gosh. I love when stores use this kind of trick where they have low lighting in certain spots where it makes everything look really, really super sparkly. <gasps> so stunning. And there were so many dresses to choose from, but I did select a few which I am going to show you guys and this was my outfit of the day my top is from forever 21 just some black jeans and boots also from forever 21 and these were my selections a lot of sparkle in there and the first dress that I tried on was this beautiful burgundy deep red sparkle and I really liked it but I just felt that the cut of the dress itself was kind of plain I don't know if that makes sense but the back was also kind of weird. It had these like lace wings, which was kind of unusual. I'd never seen that before, but it didn't really do anything for me. I mean, it looked kind of cool, but, but I wasn't that big of a fan. And overall, aside from the sparkly nature of it, the dress just felt kind of simple. All right, this next outfit. <laughs> I was not sure how I felt about this two-piece. The design was kind of giving me Great Gatsby vibes, but I think there was just something about the way the top fit that threw me off. It looked great from the back, but from the front, not so much. I did really love the gorgeous black glittery sparkles all over, as you can see, but this was not my favorite outfit. Okay, so this dress was like a glittery disco ball. This one actually looked better on the hanger than it did on me, I feel like. I love the material, thought it was really, really cool. It reminds me a lot of the two-piece set that I tried on from Steps, 
but again, I just felt like the overall dress in its design was just very simple, and I wanted something super extra, so this is a cute dress, but I would not personally wear this to prom. Okay, this dress, the color was so stunning. I wish I could have captured it better on camera. It looks black, but it's actually a very dark, deep royal purple. Very see-through, as you guys could probably see in that clip just there. But I just love the fabric and the color of this. This was one of my favorite dresses. And then I also found a teal kind of version that was similar, except I really like the little dip in the front here, the little V. And the color of this was really, really stunning. But again, I just feel like the dress itself was very simple, so I'd have to add like a corset or some accessories to really jazz it up and make it a lot fancier. For an extra person like myself, this dress is just too simple for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> But then I did find this beautiful pink sparkly cardigan and I really wanted to take this home with me. It was absolutely stunning. Made of the same material as the dresses so it was very, very sparkly. Oh my goodness, I loved it. I loved how long it was. I loved the fit. But again, don't really need it so I left it there in the store. And look at that sparkly bum. <laughs> I love adding cardigans like this to my everyday outfits because I feel like it adds an extra air of class and sophistication. Okay, this next dress, <laughs> I really liked it on the hanger and I really liked it on because it gave me the illusion of having bigger boobs, so I loved that. But when I showed it to my boyfriend, he said it looked like I was covered in pimples and I cannot unsee that now. <laughs> Dang it, Jesse, why? I actually liked it before he said that. Holy shopping, Batman. <laughs> I forget how overwhelming malls can be. There's just so much thrown at you. There's music, there's lights, there's advertisements, there's people. It's like, ah! So it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot. And I was trying to be smart about my shopping here. I downloaded the app for this mall ahead of time, looked at all the stores I wanted to go to. The map actually gives you directions. If you put what store you're by, it gives you directions to the store you're going to, which is awesome. Use that a lot today. <laughs> Because this mall that I went to is really huge, it's enormous, and I got turned around even with the help of the app several times. So, that being said, let me show you guys what I got. I did not get everything from Forever 21, that's just one bag. I figured that would be better to consolidate everything in one bag. So I limited myself to three things today. I got this super amazing bralette from Forever 21, which I love. This is full price. This wasn't on sale. It's $14.99, but just look at this. Oh, it reminds me a lot of the black milk like burned velvet kind of design. So this is my first purchase. It is so gorgeous. It fits me perfectly. I got it in size small. Oh, I love it so much. So that was the first thing I got. The second thing I got from Forever 21 is the gorgeous dress. I got the cheetah dress that I was trying on. I'm always looking for cute little going out dresses and I just love this so much. I love the fit, I love the material. It's very soft and like velvety wherever the cheetah or leopard print is. I think this is cheetah. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> so those are the two things I got from Forever 21. And then I got this sparkly disco ball outfit from Steps. I went back, at first I put it back, I was like, no, I don't need this. What am I gonna use it? And then I was like, it's me. I'll wear it every day for a casual outfit, it's fine. And I remember I really like this because it was on sale. It was originally $54.99, but on sale it was $39.99. It's wonderful. <laughs> so I am really happy I got this. I love this just as a plain top by itself. I love this as a set. I can wear this with different pieces and I just, uh, I want to be a sparkly disco ball. I love it so much. Look at it. Look at it. I don't know if you guys do this, but if you're like me, let me lock my door so no one steals me. If you guys are like me, whenever you go into a store, I see something, I try it on, I really like it, but then I'm like, hmm, do I really need it? When will I wear it? Will I get enough use out of it? I talk myself out of buying it. So that's what happened with this. I put it back on the shelf. I'm like, I don't need it. If it's still there when I come back, maybe later, if it's still on my mind, then I'll buy it. So I was getting lunch. I took a break and I looked at the pictures and videos of myself in this. I'm like, I kind of want it. So I went back. Thankfully, it was right where I left it, and I obviously bought it. So, very happy about that. I can be a sparkly disco ball whenever I want. All right, guys. Well, that is it for my sharpening. Sharpening. <laughs>
Well, that is it guys for my shopping for sparkly dresses haul. If I could go to prom, I would wear my Gatsby dress. That is still my favorite dress that I've tried on so far out of all my stores, all my shopping. Oh my gosh. But it was $70, $80 and I don't need it. So I left it in the store. Hopefully someone else will take it home and give it love. But at least I have the pictures and videos to remember forever. Why are there people? But thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful day. And I... We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.